so hello and welcome back in this video we will talk about we will talk about a couple of exercises based on what we learned in the previous videos so for example let's say that um, a, a couple of digits are given to you and you want to make the you want to make essentially the the smallest and the greatest four digit numbers using these digits right so let's say that the digits that are given to you are for example 2874 2874 and you want to make four essentially the smallest and the largest four digit number <coughs> numbers <coughs> using these four digits so the smallest the smallest number that you can make with these four digits, the smallest four digit number. So the way that you can you can do that, since this is the essentially this place value is the weightiest place value in the in the in the number, and you want to make the smallest number. So you have to make this as small as possible and then keep doing the same thing all the way up to the ones place value so to make this the smallest the smallest value possible I go for the smallest digit that I can find here for example I put the two over here then I do the same thing for this place value which means that I go for the next smallest number in on the list which would be a four and then there would be a seven and then there would be the eight so that's essentially the smallest number that you can make using these four digits, the smallest four digit number. The greatest, the greatest um, four digit number that you can make with the four digits, essentially, essentially what you want to do, what you want to do is that you want to make since you want to make the the greatest number possible the essentially the largest the the largest place value in the number you want to make it as large as possible so i choose the largest digit that i have and put it over here which is the eight then the largest digit that i have next is a seven then the largest number, the, the largest digit is a four, and then the largest digit is a, two, is a two, right? So the smallest number would be 2,478 and 8,742, right? We will do one more of these. One more of these. So let's say that the numbers that are given to you, or essentially the digits are nine, seven, and four, and one okay so how do you how do you make the smallest and the greatest four digit numbers using these digits so the smallest number would be make this largest place value as small as possible so that would be among nine seven four and one you that you would choose the one and then the four and then the seven and then the nine right so the smallest number would be 1479 for the greatest number as we did before you make this place value as large as possible so nine seven four and one that's essentially how you make the smallest and the greatest four digit numbers using given essentially four digits and then you can try the rest of them on your own for example this was essentially part a this was part b of this question now part c of the question would be for example the digits are four seven five and zero and which is i think we are going to do this um because there's a zero over here now you want to make the the smallest you want to make the smallest and the greatest 
four digit numbers using these digits I mean, meaning you have you you the number is supposed to be a four digit number right so one two three and four digits now you see over here the small for the smallest number you have to make this 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 largest place value you have to make it as small as possible so the smallest digit that i have over here is a zero but if i put the zero over here and then the smallest would be four and then the smallest would be five and then the smallest would be seven the number is zero four five seven which is nothing but 457 which is a three digit number right it's not a four digit number which means that um, which means that I cannot start with a zero so what I'm going to do I have to to start with a digit um, essentially I have to start with the smallest digit next to zero essentially after zero i have to just leave leave it out for the first digit and then go for the next smallest digit the next smallest digit is a four and this place value now i can fill it with a zero and then the smallest between five and seven is a five and then and then you have this the seven left which means that the number is then 4057 which is the smallest four digit number that you can make using essentially these four digits the greatest one you start with the with the largest digit which would be a seven and then you have, you have the five you have the four and you have the zero four seven thousand five hundred forty right so that's that's another another quest another example now part d of this is one seven six and two which you can give it a try part e of this question is five four <clears throat> zero and three that you can also give it give it a try and make the smallest and and largest or essentially the smallest and the greatest four digit numbers that you can make with these four digits right the next question here is that now make the greatest and smallest four digit numbers by using any one digit twice so you have for example part a of this question is you have three eight and seven and you want to make the smallest and greatest four digit numbers the smallest and greatest four digit numbers right and you have three digits and so of course you can repeat any of the digits in order to make the smallest number possible and the largest the, the greatest number possible so for the smallest number possible i'm going to fill this place value with the smallest number that i have here so i have a three over here i can start with a three and of course um, then again over here this is again the largest place value available in the number this again you have fill it with the smallest digit available to you so you have the eight you have the seven you have and you can um, essentially um, repeat any of the digits as you want right so I can put the eight over here, I can put the seven over here, or I can put I can repeat the three one more time. And that gives me the smallest digit possible for this place value. And then I can go for the for the seven and then I can go for the eight. So the three essentially over here was to be repeated in order to get the smallest four digit number possible out of these three digits, right? the greatest number that you can make with these with these three digits the, the greatest four digit number that you can make with these three digits would be um, you have to start of course with the greatest digit that is available to you so that is an eight right and then you want to of course and then you want to make this this place value as large as possible so i'm going to repeat the eight one more time 
and then I'm going to for this so I'm going to use this the three and the seven so the seven I'm going to put it here and three I'm going to put it here so then this would be eight eight seven three which is the largest four digit number that you can make using these three digits right so that's essentially all about that and then again uh, parts the, the the other parts of this question let's do another part over here let's say that part b is a nine and zero and five right is a nine zero and five now the smallest four digit number and the greatest four digit number using these three digits what is that the smallest the for the smallest four digit number the largest place value i'm going to fill it with the smallest digit that i can find which would be of course zero but then again i cannot start with the zero because if i start the number with the zero then of course then the, the number would be for example a three digit number not a four digit number right so the the, the the zero i cannot use right i'm going to use of course i have to use again after zero the smallest number would be the five and now i can use the zero over here right because it's because between zero essentially among zero five and nine of course you can repeat any of the digits but then the smallest possible digit that they can put over here is a zero and then i'm going to repeat the zero one more time because well it is again the smallest digit available and i can repeat it so there is no problem with that and then i'm going to use the nine so the smallest four digit number using these three digits would be 5009 right the largest number i start with the largest digit and then i'm going to repeat the same thing nine and then the five is the largest and then the end with zero right so that is that is essentially 9950 would be the, the, the greatest 5009 would be the smallest and then you can do the rest you can you can try on your own part c of this question the digits are 0 4 and 9 and part d of the question the digits are 8 5 and 1 so that is um, that is essentially um that you can try on your own okay so the next question and um, especially for mathematics of course when you when you when you read essentially when a question is given to you you have to read the question very carefully for example as an example over here the the, the third part of this question is make the make the greatest and smallest four digit numbers so you want to essentially first of all you you know that you know that you you want to make four digit numbers and greatest and smallest meaning you, you have essentially you have to make two numbers right using any four different digits any four different digits given the conditions right so any part of this if you don't read um, any part of the question if you don't read it carefully you could make a mistake right you have to be very careful with math mathematics so let's say that the question is for example the condition for part a of this question is digit is digit seven is always at one's place value is always at one's place value right so that means that then i'm going to make the essentially to, to answer the question you have to make the smallest four digit number and the greatest four digit number 
so you have four digits over here and the essentially the seven is always at the ones place value so i have to put the seven over here other than that other than that essentially you want to um you want to you you, you can use any four different digits right so any four different digits meaning that the digits that you can use are zero one two three four five through all the way up to nine basically and since i want to make the smallest number possible of course i have to use with the smallest digit available to me which of course it cannot be zero of course because if i use zero then the number becomes a three digit number so that i cannot do i have to go with the one right and then the smallest digit after one and the, the, the digits as we mentioned over here they have to be different meaning if i use a one over here then i cannot use a one one more time right so i have to go for a two for example and then i have to go for a three so that would be for example one um two three seven but the answer is not correct because because over here for example i could have used a zero so you want to make these larger place values you want to make them as small as possible right so zero i can use of course i could not use the zero over here but i can i, I can use it here so i can go for a zero here and then i can use the two so the number would be 1027 right now for the greatest number essentially what you want to do is that you want to make this largest place value you want to make it as large as possible and you can choose essentially among all the digits that you have in the decimal number system essentially zero one two three all the way up to nine so i'm going to put a nine over here and then the next digit has to be again as large as possible so an eight and then a six for example so nine eight six seven for example that would be the largest number possible given the condition that the digit seven is always used as the at the ones place value right now um part b of this question would be for example part b of this question would be for example digit four is always a tens place value so four always at tens place value so if four is supposed to be always a tens place value um so what you want to do is that so again you have the smallest number and you have the greatest number and so you have essentially and you you, you want to make a four digit number and digit four essentially has to be at the tens place value meaning this place value over here right and for the smallest number i i have to use the smallest digit available to me at this place value which would be for example a zero but i cannot start with a zero so i go for one and then for a two and then for a three over here right so that would be 1243 would be the smallest four digit number essentially given the fact given the condition that four is at the tens place value the greatest number would be um you want to start with it with it with the largest digit possible at the at this at this largest place value which would be a nine then i'm going to go for an eight and then i'm going to go for a seven for for, for a seven for example and of course all the digits are supposed to be uh, different so that's essentially how you would you would you would make this uh, essentially you would do exercise b basically 
and then basically what you can essentially you can um, there is two other examples over here so let me let, let me um, to leave them to yourself so part c and d of this question would be essentially part c would be digit 9 is always at, at the hundreds place value which means that essentially a four digit number so this is 110 and 100 so assuming that this is the largest and this is the smallest nine put it at the at the hundreds place value which would which essentially you put the nine over here and uh, then for the largest you start with the largest uh, digit available to you which is not a nine but essentially an eight a seven and six for example now i already did this as well and for the smallest you want to start with the smallest digit possible which cannot be a zero but you can start with a one a two and a three basically right so that is for example 4c uh, for d again you have a four digit number or two four digit numbers this is the greatest one this is the smallest one digit one is always at the thousands place value which would be essentially over here and then basically the greatest number start with the greatest digit available to you which would be a nine for example then an eight for example then a seven and then the the smallest would be start with the smallest digits basically so you have a zero and one we have already used two and three for example that was that that is for essentially part d now question number four the question says take two digits say two and three for example right make four digit numbers using uh, numbers using both the digits equal number of time so you want to make four digit numbers using both the digits meaning using essentially two and three both of them and you have to use them an equal number of times so which is the greatest number so the greatest number would be essentially you want to make a four digit number and you want and then what is the smallest number again you have to you, you want to 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 make a smaller smallest number as well and uh, because you have essentially we have taken we have taken essentially two digits right and you want to use them an equal number of times so i have to use essentially two i have to use it twice and three i have to use it twice so as to have essentially four digits when the number that i want to make is a four digit number right so the greatest number so that means that essentially i have two essentially i have two threes and i have two twos right and so this way essentially both of the digits have been used an equal number of times meaning that each and every one of them has been used twice basically now for the greatest number i'm going to start with the with the two threes and then put the twos over here and then for the for the smallest number i i, I can put the two twos over here and the two threes over here and that is basically there's the greatest number and the smallest number given these conditions now the second part of this question asks how many different and you have to pay attention to the word to the word different how many different numbers can you make in total okay now i'm not going to give you the answer right now if you if you want if if you find this interesting you can give it some thought and then i will give you the answer at the end of this course okay probably in a, in a separate short video so the question is essentially you want to make these four digit numbers so the number is supposed to be a four digit number and the digits that you want to use are three three two and two right so in the in the video that we talked about um, that, that we talked about essentially the fundamental principle of counting in mathematics we said that um, essentially over there we were dealing with 
uh, for example we had four digit numbers we said that and the, and the digits were for example um, the digits that you had were for example one two three and four right and we said that essentially if you want to um, if you want to essentially if you want to in the case of no repetition we said that essentially there are for example four ways of choosing a digit for this place value three ways of choosing a digit for this place value two ways and one ways for these place values and the total number of ways that these digits can be essentially chosen together would be four three four times three times two times one that is without that is without repetition that is without repetition if you were to if you were to do it essentially with repetition that would be essentially a case like this if you were to do it with repetition you would have the case of um, essentially you would have um, you would have four ways of choosing a digit over shear you would have again four ways of choosing a digit over shear <coughs> again four ways of choosing a digit over shear and four ways of choosing a digit over shear <coughs> which would be essentially um, which would be essentially then the total number of ways of choosing all of these digits together would be 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 which is 4 raised to the power 4 which is if I'm not mistaken is uh, 256 right that is 256 but this is only uh, 12 times is equal to 24 ways right this is this is essentially with repetition right now what is the difference between without repetition and with repetition when you when you say when you say essentially without repetition that means that essentially once you have used the one for example then there is no way to use it for another digit in the same number meaning that for example a number like for example one 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 for example two three would not be possible or essentially a number like one 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 would not be possible because once you used a one then you couldn't use it anymore in the same number but in the case of with repetition if you essentially in the case of which the numbers become the number of numbers becomes essentially 256 then such numbers would be possible okay now again over here whether whether essentially whether you uh, whether you choose essentially whether you calculate the number of numbers with or without repetition using the fundamental principle of counting repeated numbers are not possible in this case right repeated numbers are simply not possible because you are essentially choosing from distinct digits meaning the digits themselves are not repeated but in this case over here the problem is that the the, the digits to start with are repeated which means that essentially whether you choose um, which means that whether you choose with or without repetition the number essentially is going to be essentially you're going to end up with repeated numbers right meaning that for example you're going to end up for example with a th th 3322 and another 3322 and your calculation thinks that it has calculated two different numbers for you but then of course the numbers are not different because third 3322 and 3322 are actually the same number so you are ending up with repeated numbers which is of course um, which is of course something that you don't want right 
But essentially your calculation is not making any mistakes because of the fact that your calculation takes into consideration this three and this three as two distinct digits. It, 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 it thinks that this three is not essentially it, it takes into consideration this three as itself and the other three as itself. It, 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 it's, it's going to distinguish between the two. Whereas in reality, when essentially when the two digits are repeated in the number, they look exactly the same, and then then and then they they will make exactly the same number, right? So which means that essentially those cases in which these um, seemingly same digits are going to be repeated, and as a result of which essentially repeated numbers are going to be created you have to take those cases out okay so then you have to essentially find some way in order to take those essentially those cases out of your 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 um, um, your calculation and then calculate the correct number of different numbers in total okay so that is a little bit tricky of course but if you like these types of problems uh, i mean you could give it a try and then in the end of the course i'll give i'll, I'll, I'll probably give you a detailed uh, explanation of how to s go about solving such problems i'll end this problem here and uh, i'll end this video here and i'll see you in the next video thank you